Hey guys, welcome to another video. So in this video, we'll be talking about which is better, UPS or AVR for your PCnet computer. So to start with, uh, let me explain the general purpose of these two. Uh, it basically protects your computer from power fluctuation because computers are sensitive to changes in the power. Uh, if you plug your computer directly to a power socket without any uh, AVR or UPS, just from CPU directly to the power, uh, wall socket um, and then in, if any changes in the voltage could affect or worse damage your computer so it's a really bad idea uh, let's talk about for uh, first the AVR so AVR stands for automatic voltage regulator it is designed to automatically maintain a constant voltage level it regulates the sudden flow of electric current from AC supply to the PC the benefits of using an AVR is that it's super cheap and there is little to no maintenance. You just plug it in and it just works. The downside in using an AVR is that when the power goes out, your computer will turn off immediately. So if you've been typing, you've been playing games, so when the power goes out, boom, it's gone. So it could damage your motherboard, power supply, or RAM, or graphics card. So in the long run, it will damage your computer. In choosing the AVR, you want to check the wattage of your PC and compare it to the AVR if you can support it. So what about UPS? Uh, UPS stands for Uninterruptible Power Supply. That's really a mouthful. <laughs> UPS, so I'll be referring it to UPS. Uh, it's basically an AVR with an added bonus of a backpack battery. Uh, the benefits of using uh, UPS is that it will protect your computer from power fluctuations. So if you uh, with an added so plus the battery so if you bought a UPS with software combination it provides the automatic shutdown of equipment during long power outages monitoring and lagging lagging of the status of the power supply and display the voltage and current draw of the equipment and restart equipment after a long power outage display the voltage currently on the line provide alarms on certain air condition and most importantly provide short circuit protection the only disadvantage of using a UPS is that you have to change its battery once every two years, depending on your battery quality. So I bought like a cheap UPS, so it only lasted me like seven months. So I have to change the battery. So you decide whichever AVR or UPS that depends to you. So in conclusion guys, if you live in an area where power outages are very frequent, you have to get a UPS. So if you're, but if you try to keep it cheap and get a good, so you have to get a good quality AVR. So you know it's a good quality if it's heavy. So the probably the brands that I would recommend is Mitsui and the brands that are just get like, if you're not sure, just get uh, a higher wattage power supply so that's a really good idea to protect your computer so but in my opinion uh, this is just me guys uh, you get a UPS it's really good in the long run there are a lot of cheap options in the market for UPS and also AVRs um, so that's about it guys so I hope you learned something today and if you like this video please leave a thumbs up and if you enjoy this kind of content uh, please subscribe to my channel guys. I'm almost there. Uh, I'm almost 1,000 subscribers so I can monetize the channel. I could make money and improve the video the quality of my videos So as always guys, uh, thank you again for watching uh, I'll see you on the next video. Peace